yes, welcome. Welcome to Grand Army Plaza. Our crazy Brooklyn's, Brooklyn's answer to the Champs-Elysees. Welcome. Shall we take a romp through Prospect Park, shall we? Good to see you, Precious Gem. Good to see you, Laurie. Welcome on in. We will pass through the gate, and the adventure will begin. Welcome to Brooklyn, folks. Welcome to Prospect Park. Welcome to Grand Army Plaza. Eastern Parkway, right over in this direction, in the Brooklyn Public Library. And off in the distance, you will encounter the Brooklyn Museum. Good to see you, Hope. And then off in this direction here, good to see you. Prospect Park, that's right, we're going into Prospect Park. Uh, then on this side here, this is Park Slope right here. Park Slope, as we go underneath the arch. Good to see you, Jay. Good to see you, Miss Parker, hello. This monument here built for the Civil War. But there is our grand entrance into the park. Welcome. You are in for a treat. To say the least, we're going to see something quite amazing. Haven't seen Prospect Park since you were 12. Well, guess what? You're going to see it right now. We're going to the Rose Garden here in Prospect Park. Got the light. Let's walk into the park, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I do need to find a cool spot. It, the sun is really strong today. The sun is really strong. But it is what it is. We are gonna go into the cool spot. <laughs> go slow, don't you leave out any details? You got it, you got it. So right over here, this is the, in that little Airstream trailer over there, great memories of the library. Love the Egyptian exhibit, exactly. That's the Egyptian exhibit in the Brooklyn Museum. Probably one of the best Egyptian exhibits. Good to see you, Boozy Burger Bell. Fantastic roller scope, roller scope broadcast over there in the periscopes. Riding a historic roller coaster out there in Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Hopefully you're enjoying your day out there. I'll tease. Now let's tease a little bit what we're going to look at. Here's a computer rendering of what we're about to look at. This is called the Connective Project. Celebrating 150 years since Project, since Prospect Park has been open. After this, can we look at your old house? Well, I'm heading over towards the Q train. So I'm heading over towards the other side of, um, of the park. I'm not going on the park slope side, because I, be, I will be going down to Coney Island after this. The big one messed up, so you'll try it again in about a month. Awesome. So this is what we're going to see, folks. Little pinwheels. But now, the only thing I remember is I have to bear, as I walk down this pathway, I'm going to have to bear to the, the left. So, into the madness and the beauty that Frederick Lar Olmsted and Calvert Vox created. Over 70,000 trees, 585,000, 585 acres, 585,000, I think that's all of Brooklyn. I guess we have to, I guess the pinwheels will lead us the way, lead us down to the way. Eight and a half million cartloads of topsoil. Didn't use too much gunpowder in the creation of the park. Uh, where's the colonial house uh, that was there? Yes, actually the, the Lefferts Homestead, we will be passing by that. We're gonna be passing by the Lefferts Homestead in a little bit. Yeah, we're kind of lucky here in New York with all these great little parks. So now we're about to go through the Ennendale Arch. As you see, Prospect Park always under construction. Never complete. Here's a great picture of the arch. From when the park first opened up. That's totally a uh, Vox design. That's totally a, a, a Calvert Vox design archway. And then there it is today. Always improving. This park has really come a long way from the 80s. Believe me, folks, this park has come a long way since the 80s. But now we're going to make our way. We got a little, oh, I didn't just realize this. Look at this. They have it all. 
they have it all lined out here. Look at that. Yay. Follow the pinwheels. Yay. Oh, nice and cool in the park here. Everything Olmsted and Vox wanted to do in Central Park that they couldn't, they did here in Prospect Park. You went here in, back in the 70s. Yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty rough back in the 70s. Certainly has come a long way. As we venture deeper and deeper into the park. Then after this, we're going to make our way over to the Leopard's Homestead. And if it's open, we're going to try to ride the carousel. Because that's a Coney Island carousel. As we descend into the park. Now, this is an area of the park, even today, you don't want to venture into at night. Because it is incredibly dark over here. <laughs> Incredibly dark. But if you like pitch black and want to feel like you're out in the country, then by all means come out this way here. So I'm on the further, the most eastern edge of the park right now. Just to my left hand side is Flatbush Avenue. And I could hear, I don't know if you can hear, you can hear Flatbush Avenue, but you can't see it. The magic of the design of Olmsted and Vox. Unfortunately, we're getting a bad signal connection, so hopefully we maintain signal. Good to see you, NYC girl. Welcome to Prospect Park. Hopefully the signal will improve for everyone as we make our way deeper and deeper into the park. And I see some more pinwheels. I see some more pinwheels. It is beautiful. It's going to get a lot more beautiful in a second. Lost me for a minute. Awesome. Hopefully we're back. I know we had a little little signal issue there. Okay, so I have to bear. I have to remember to bear to the left. Here are pinwheels. So there. They are 7,000. 7,000 pinwheels we are about to see. Oh my god, that looks so cool! Holy cow! So I am seeing this for the first time. So, we're both going to see this for the first time, but, but I'm back now. Good. Good, good, good. Look at this, people. Look at how... Wow. Wow. Get a little teaser right there. A little teaser right there for everybody. Because we got to walk down into that. We have to check, yeah, check this out, Doc. Okay, so now we're entering the Rose Garden. This is the Rose Garden. And I haven't been to the Rose Garden in probably maybe five, six years. So seeing this right now is truly a treat. As the children frolic in the fountain. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to, to decorate a pinwheel, but unfortunately they already ran out of pinwheels. So we couldn't decorate a pinwheel. That's right, singing Rose Garden, exactly. This is so neat. This is why I love New York. That's right, that's right. Jay's, Jay went to high school with my mom. So cool. This reminds me of uh, it almost reminds me of like the gates in Central Park where it's a lot of the same thing. If you had it in Wigan it'll be destroyed already. That's not good. This is too cool. Too cool for school. As a light breeze, <laughs> as a light breeze passes through. Well, that one's really cool. I wish I could get up closer to that one. Yeah, not much wind. We've got a little bit of wind over there coming through right now. There you go. Well, we got to get around on the other side of this. 
Oh yeah, there's, there's the wind's coming right up the right up the right up the garden here. Oh yeah. Wait, there we go. Here we go. We got someone coming. There we go. <laughs> it's very hypnotic. Wow, you can you hear that? They're kind of they're kind of flapping around. Sounds like sounds like uh, leaves rustling. And there's more over here. Look at this. There you go. Just for you guys. <laughs> Don't you love the sound of them? Yes, the lady from NYC Parks did this uh, the day it opened. Uh, what was that? That was, that was three days ago now. And I knew this project was coming, but she hardly interacted with the audience. She actually interacted more with the audience over on Facebook. <laughs> you can hear it with your headphones. Awesome. So you could come and decorate these at Grand Army Plaza. I wanted to decorate one for you guys, but they ran out, so... Unfortunately, they ran out. It goes all the way... This is cool. It goes all the way past all three gardens. This is cool. Of course I thought of you guys. I, I think it would have been just cool just to walk down at the beginning of the show and plant one. But it's only here for 10 days, so it's only going to be here for another, uh, another few more days or so. So it's not going to be here for too much longer. So if you're here in Brooklyn, here in New York, you, you might, you might want to check this out. And you could decorate a pinwheel for free, by the way. So. They do ask you to make a donation to the Prospect Park Alliance. Oh, you're more than welcome, Boozy Burger Bell. I, when I found out about this exhibit, I had to see it. I had to come out here and see it because I knew it was going to be really cool, really visual. Again, it reminds me of this art exhibit in Central Park called The Gates of Central Park. And it was that these thousands of these big orange gates that you could walk through. And uh, I like the little squeaking sound they make. <laughs> it's a very hypnotic squeaking sound they make when they, when they spin around. Let's go to the third garden here. <laughs> so I guess everyone decorates them with a simple marker. Oh, here we go again. Unfortunately, Flatbush Avenue is a little too loud right now. Yeah, you can. You can just sit on the chairs if you'd like. The chairs are, I'm not going to lie, it's a little warm inside of those concrete circles over there. Yeah, the decorations are pretty cool. You know, people even decorating both sides or... And we got people putting their names. Or maybe even doing a little... Little kids doing a little drawing. But anyone can sit in the chairs, but it's, it's a little warm. It's a little warm in these areas here. When you're not in the shade, it's a little warm. It is interesting. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up, people. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let's do, let's do an old school 360, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do a counterclockwise 360 here. My biscuits are burning as they are. <laughs> well, it looks like they have lights on this. They do illuminate this at night, it looks like. 
It is beautiful, Candy. Good to see you. Yeah, the concrete, it, it really, it's really hot in the middle of here. <laughs> That's right. It look like terrible drugs. Look at this view here, people. Look at this view here. Just put put my went all the way up on that one. Isn't that a great shot? Again, it's like it's like the gates. It reminds me of the gates of Central Park. And look, I like how they're making you walk through them right here. Walk right through them. Then we'll turn around. And then we'll look through the whole expanse of them. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then what we got here going up this way here? We got the rest of the pathway up here, so we're gonna venture up this way here next. But we gotta take another walk through this thing again. We gotta take another walk through this exhibit again. One more time before we go, and then we'll make our way over to the Lefferts Homestead. Uh, I don't know if you can hear. There's an owl. There's an owl nearby. Oh, it feels nice in the shade. <laughs> it feels nice in the shade, people. Somebody's birthday. Happy birthday. Another one with messages on it. <laughs> no, it has, I don't think it has a meaning. Um, there's no significance with how many numbers there are, and it's just part of this project called the Connective Project. That's pretty much all I know. It's kind of like the, the gates in Central Park where they really had no meaning. It, the meaning was up to you, really. Now, this is a very... They took time decorating this one. Look at this one. How did I not notice this one? Yeah, maybe community spirit. Who knows? It's cool, though. Okay, now I got the I got the bad connection warning again, so I could I know now where to walk <laughs> and where not to walk. But we'll continue on. We'll make our way down to the Lefferts Homestead now, in honor of the Tour de France. <laughs> that would not make a bad picture. Whatever it means, exactly. Whatever it means. This is yellow for the Mayo John. It's yellow for the Mayo John in the Tour de France. <laughs> Let me hang out here in the shade for two seconds. Clear on your end, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna try to try to try to make sure to stay in the shade here. <laughs> the sun is strong. Yeah, the problem, the problem that the lady from Parks Department, um, when she was filming this a couple days ago, the problem that she had was she was doing this on 360. And uh, obviously, as you see, we, we don't get a good data signal back here. So doing a 360 here in the garden would not be the best idea. <laughs> it would not be the best idea. You don't get the best signal back here. But so far, so good. Let's continue on. 
Let's continue on exploring Prospect Park and say goodbye to the pinwheels. I think they're going to be recycled, if I'm not mistaken. They're all plastic, so I think they're all going to be recycled, and or maybe they'll put them in another art exhibit. Who knows? But there you go. There's the connective project. There is your 7,000 pinwheels here in Prospect Park. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the shade. <laughs> and we're going to make our way down to the Leopards Homestead now. One of the oldest homes here in Brooklyn. But I really want to get into the shade. <laughs> I really want to get into some shade right now. That sun is strong and we're not in Coney Island. <laughs> and yes, by the way, yes, later on we will be going into Coney Island. Uh, after this, we're hopping, hopping on a Q train. And we will go down to Coney Island. And I'm, I'm feeling a lobster roll. I'm, I might get a lobster roll. You know, welcome for sharing this, uh, Miss Parker. Not done with the tour yet. We're going to continue on. And make our way down. Let's reconnect. Ooh, are we back? Let's see. Are we back? Are we back? We should be back. Hopefully we're back. Because it looks like we went through a, a dead zone there. Looks like we went through a little bit of a dead zone. But hopefully we're back. We restarted the clock at 21 minutes. Looks like we have a good signal here. Got three of you watching. Okay, we're going to continue on here. The, the magic of a live broadcast. <laughs> now, I don't see any comments. So I don't see any comments right now, but that's fine. Make sure my comments are... Yes, they're turned on. Had a little signal issue. Looks like we dropped out completely, but we should be back. Connection very bad again. We're back, we're back. There you go. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back right as... The connection goes very bad again. Okay. But it looks like we're back. Looks like we're connected somewhat. We will continue on. You're more than welcome, Boozy Burger Bell. You are more than welcome. This is my pleasure showing you guys a little bit of other a little bit of different side of Brooklyn here. Now let me see. Is this the spot that dead ends? I know there's gonna be a pathway around this area that dead ends. And this dead end has a very hilarious story hilarious history which is basically we're not that far from the zoo right now and I don't know when was it in the mid 80s maybe early 80s maybe mid to early 80s I want to say we used to have an elephant in this in this zoo oh not an elephant a, uh, um, uh, a giraffe comments are about 30 seconds behind okay yeah, that's something. That's something I I I, I don't uh, I expect. I expect it. I'm not surprised by that. The comments should be a little delayed with the signal issue that we had just previous. That is why the the lady, the lady from Parks Department she did not have a good broadcast because she was doing it in 360 and it looked like a big jumbled mushy mosh. But yeah, we had a we had a giraffe here in the park. And one day the giraffe got loose and, and it made its way all around the park eating vegetation and kind of messing stuff up. Gone from five minutes uh, over here. Okay, awesome. Hopefully we're back, Lori. We're now making our way back up to the Lefferts Homestead. Now, hopefully this saved. If this didn't save, <laughs> if the previous broadcast didn't save, then... Uh, I will probably have to come back here and do this again. <laughs> oh, it's nice and cool in here. And we have a good data signal. And we have pretty birds. There's pretty birds in here. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the country. I feel like I'm in the country right now. Ooh, ooh, random stairway. Now about that giraffe, yeah. There was a giraffe that got loose here in the park. And, uh, yeah, he was kind of messed up the park a little bit, did some 
did some rustling, did some eating of vegetation. And eventually they caught the giraffe, but the giraffe is no longer here in the park. I believe it went up to the Bronx Zoo, where they had a little bit more room for it. Oh, big guy, little baby squirrel. Hi, little baby squirrel. <laughs> Gotta be careful here with these old, old tiny steps here. I think I know where I'm at now. Yeah, I think I know where I'm at. Dropped out, but dropped out again, but we're back. Good. Yeah, the signal's a little wonky here in the park, I'm noticing. Now, I know the next section we should be good. Because we're going to get closer to the, to the street. Evidently, all of Prospect Park has Wi-Fi. Looks to you like one broadcast only. Perfect, Jay. Awesome. Thank you so much for that update. Yeah, that never happened to me before where I had to reconnect. It said reconnect. So, we'll see how it looks after the fact. Ooh, look at this. They're doing some major mulching here. Major mulch job. For all you guys who like mulch. There's a mulchapalooza. Right here. Wow. Looks like uh, the area time forgot. And can I walk through here? This is the dead. Is, is this the dead end? This is the dead end. This is the dead end. This is where the, this is where the giraffe came out. Just, let's show you the zoo. This is where the giraffe came out. This is when the giraffe broke loose here in Prospect Park. The giraffe came through right here. Let's look inside the zoo. Can't see much back here. No animals are visible, but this is the zoo. This is the zoo. So we made it back over here. I gotta go around. Your zoo lost a red panda and never found him? What? Red pandas are expensive and rare. That's kind of amazing. You know, I tell you one thing, this all this mulch, all this cut up um, wood, I really feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I really feel like I'm really far away from New York right now. I feel like I'm, up, I'm in Pennsylvania or something like that. Or upstate New York or somewhere not near the city. The siren. The siren off in the distance is, <laughs> is reminding me I'm in the city. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up this road here. And we'll go around here. So that, that ambulance, whatever that is you're hearing... That's Flatbush Avenue, you, you could hear. Okay. So we've been on now for just about a half hour. Yeah, I'll say. Gotta lose a red panda? What the hell? What the zuck? What the zuck? The giraffe, in Prospect Park's case, the, gir the giraffe stayed here in the park. It actually kind of found, it, it found itself a nice little spot to chill out in. And it was quite easy to capture the giraffe. As we now make our way around the zoo. And ahead of us should be coming up the carousel. Should be coming up. I know, it doesn't even look like New York. Now, someone had a red panda pet. That's right. Somebody took that thing home. The siren, the song of New York City. That's right. That's right. Oh, we got some people cutting, up, cutting wood up here. Some people working on the park. See, just like uh, Central Park, Prospect Park here is a kind of like a private alliance. Working on the pathway. Make my way. Here's the main drive. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you, uh, Jim. We just saw seven thousand 
plastic pinwheels. And now we're making our way over to the carousel and the Leffords homestead. And then after that, I'm gonna hop on the Q train and we're going to Coney Island. And we'll hang out a little bit down there. If they tag dog, they should tag zoo animals. I think they should, especially rare red pandas. That might be prudent to do. <laughs> this is the most wooded area in Prospect Park, right across the way from us. And now we're directly behind the zoo. I could smell it now. You might hear some small little uh, chimpanzees. Oh, you saw me on Twitter when I was streaming on the other app? Yeah, I had an idea the other night. I had an idea for the radio show. Good radio show last night, though. A quick hour of radio. And we might do that tomorrow, after work tomorrow. I have a rather long day tomorrow. It's going to be very warm, so better acclimate myself today. Okay, here's the back, the old back entrance here. Even though you're all coasted out, you're still jealous of Coney? Yeah, you'll come out. you come out soon. Ah, oh, it was fun to watch. You don't sleep at night. Okay, awesome. Yeah, sometimes I can't sleep. Uh, Central Park is larger than, um, than Prospect Park. Prospect Park is 585 acres large. Uh, Central Park is 843 acres large. But, Prospect Park has more trees. Uh, Central Park has around 27,000 trees. Prospect Park has a little over 70,000 trees. Um, a lot of these trees do predate the park. So especially in the most wooded area, just to my right-hand side, there are trees that date back 200 plus years, if not older. Yeah, exactly. It's a good idea when the wife is sleeping, when I can't talk on microphone. You'll just hear music. You, you, you won't know what's coming up next. That's the only problem. It was built... Um, no, well, Prospect Park is a weird situation. The Prospect Park was basically built because they knew the city of Brooklyn was expanding rapidly and we needed a park here. But they really built Prospect Park, in this case, for the rich. Just like Central Park, but Prospect Park even more so. And... Um, it's built kind of around the last area where we have forest, dense forest, because there's not too much dense forest here in Brooklyn. It was mostly kind of creeks and streams and, and whatnot. And also, this is the area where the Battle of Brooklyn was fought. And for the most part, when Prospect Park first opened up, this was seen as more of a Revolutionary War site more than anything, and they wanted to preserve that. Well, no, Coney Island was really, uh, half of Coney Island was for the rich, the other half was for debaucherous gambling, and then the other half was for families. <laughs> so, Coney Island was a little bit of everything. Oh, the carousel is closed, boo! Oh, yeah, right, you had, you had the box over there in the UK, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Gotta love the 1%, that's right. Well, the Vanderbilts built this place, you know, and, and, and the, uh, the Carnegies put money into this place. Yeah, exactly. They didn't cut down the trees for firewood. Exactly. So this is the old carousel here. And this carousel here does come from Coney Island. It was originally built in 1909 in Coney Island. And it came over here in 1952. They were going to demolish this. But luckily the people here in Prospect Park saved it. And uh, we still have our carousel today. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk across the grass. Pretty much, I would see a lot, when Prospect Park first opened up, it was pretty much a war, a civil war monument. So they wanted to show people where the battle happened. And literally where I'm walking right now, this is where the Battle of Brooklyn happened. And to be precise, precise, the area where I'm walking right now, I'm, I'm near Empire Boulevard and Flatbush Avenue. This is the area that the British really had their stronghold in. They stayed right here at the top of the hill. And behind me, down towards the Gowanus Canal, that is where the retreating 
American forces retreated and then eventually made their way back to Manhattan. Can't talk about, can't talk about, you can't talk, can't get enough in one broadcast right here. This is a pretty good broadcast. We're getting a Revolutionary War a history and here's the Lefferts Homestead right here. And the Lefferts Homestead was originally built in uh, 1783. And then it moved six blocks over here to where it is today, back in 1920. They were gonna, uh, once again, they were gonna demolish it. Uh, 1787 was when they built this house. Um, the revolutionary battle happened in August of 1776. 1776, the revolutionary war happened right here. Battle of Brooklyn actually was in August. And actually yesterday was one of my favorite all time. I'll tell everyone another story. Yeah, 1776. What's going on, everyone? Yeah, 1776. Yesterday was one of my favorite stories to ever happen in New York City history. So what happened was, yesterday in 1776, for the first time ever, the Declaration of Independence was read aloud on the steps of Federal Hall at Wall Street and Broad. And there was like 1,500 people watching it. And they got so excited that we were going to leave the monarchy that, you know what they did? They, they stormed down Broadway, they went down to Broadway, and then they went into, into Bowling Green. And there was a big statue of King George III. And they toppled the statue down, sent the statue over here to Brooklyn, to Red Hook, so it's off in that direction. And they melted, the, the story is they melted it down from musket balls. We don't know if that actually happened, but we did tear down the statue of King George III. And of course, there were these, there was this fence around, there's this fence around Bowling Green. And on the main posts, there were these finnels that had the emblem of the queen. And they cut those emblems down and uh, melted those down into musket balls. But you can still see that fence today that was there back in 1776. So, but here's the Leopard's Homestead. Right there. Classic home. This was built by a Dutch family. But Lefferts is a Civil War general or something like that, so it's not really the original family. It's not named after the original family, though. Pretty cool, though. But now I want to I want to find one last thing. Evidently, there's a really old tree around here, and I want to see if I could find this old tree. It should have a fence around it. Should have a sign on it. But let's see if we can find this really, really old tree, and then we'll finish the broadcast. All right, and do, don't you love Prospect Park? I certainly love Prospect Park. I always love Prospect Park. Actually, here's a great example. Check this out. We need to get up close. This was all closed. But it's not. Uh, I can't, I'm actually, am going the way the Warriors took in the movie. Yes, I am. I, I will be reliving that right now on my way down there. There's a little painting of the Leopard's Homestead. And then that's the, that's where it used to be, six blocks away. That's right. I did show you in the misses where, where they ripped off the emblems. Absolutely. That's one of my favorite things to show people. But yep, you saw that fence. You saw that historic fence. It's kind of amazing they moved this entire house six blocks over. Kind of amazed by that. <laughs> All right. Now let's see if we can find this tree. Let's see if we can find this tree. There's a tree supposedly that is here, that is ancient and old. And I wanna see if it's here. If not, I'm in the wrong spot or it's just inside the, just inside the zoo. But I think it's out here somewhere. And then after this wheel, I'm going to hop on the train and go down to Coney and we'll, since Boozy Burger Bill rode a roller coaster, I have to ride a roller coaster now. The Warriors took the D train. That's right. Yes, they did. They took the D train and then maybe down, yeah, the D train down to the Q train. So I think this is our tree. Right? 
or it's inside, I think it's inside, and it's inside the zoo. Boy, the sun is strong. This sun is no joke. Yeah. Your city has an awesome carousel and spent millions of dollars to restore it. Awesome. It's always good to restore classic carousels. You know, they have a lot of history, a lot of, a lot of little things. I had a big story to tell you about this carousel, but it's all closed, so I can't really tell you most of it without, without you guys not knowing what I'm talking about because I have to show it to you. But anyway, anyway, we, we, may, go to, we may go to Coney Island. And we, we, we might ride the carousel out there just for the, just for the heck of it. Heck it. We'll ride the carousel. But we have now made it back to civilization. We are now... And um, near the intersection of Empire Boulevard and Flatbush Avenue. Yeah, that was a great ride. That, you know, that roller coaster was going good, too. You had a nice whip. You had nice lateral um, Gs on that roller coaster. Pretty cool. Absolutely. Yes, that's right. It was a long time ago. That's right. It used to be like that. Now, you see those, see those housing projects? See, see those buildings right off in the distance over there? Right there? That's where Ebbets Field used to be. That's where Ebbets Field used to be, right there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope it's, it's saved properly on YouTube. But I want to wish everyone a great New York Day, whether you live here or not. Yeah, Ebbets Field is long gone. Ebbets Field was torn down back in the, in the 60s. Yeah, the Grand National Race is your favorite. And that's, and that's a historic, historic roller coaster. Majorly historic roller coaster. But... Have a great New York day whether you live here or not. Hug your loved ones. Cherish the moment. And uh, we, I, I can't get a signal down. I, I, I cannot get a signal down to where the subway is. So maybe, maybe, maybe when, when we get above ground, I'll, I'll do a little broadcast while we're on the subway. But have a great New York day whether you live here or not. Hug your loved ones. I know really good airtime in the back. And good afternoon, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I love the new carousel too in Battery Park too. All right, we'll be in Coney Island, folks. Going to Coney Island. Going to the beach. I'll see you guys in about probably an hour, probably an hour. See you guys later, folks. Bye-bye.